Hello, in this video I am going to cover white space with you. So as you can see there is a bunch of empty parts. So these are tabs. There's these here. These are the, this is the way I like to format it. These are spaces and there's empty lines here. So these are, you know, white space. So if you have a no code on there or you potentially just a comment but still no code that's going to be run the compiler treats that as a blank line and it removes that completely because it's, it's not fussed about you know white space white space is there to help indicate to the compiler that this is where certain things start and end because let me show you this says int which is the return type of this main function this says main which is the name of this particular function and these curly braces just you know well curly braces no parentheses sorry these parentheses just indicate that there's no I mean indicate there's a function and because there's nothing in there that indicates that there's no you know, parameters to be passed in but we've got this white space here because these are both just you know alphabetical keywords if I was to do this and if I was to save it and run it, we will get an error. So it says, where are we? Uh, undefined reference to win main. It is because int main is not a thing. And the way it knows what it is by is by having the white space. It knows that this is a certain thing which is a integer data type it knows that this is another thing which is the name of the function which is main some places that you don't need white space is for like example here we could get rid of all of this white space and i'll explain to you why so, so if i was to save that and i was to run it so we still get an error because the hashtag is saying anything on the line is, you know, referring to this hashtag. So you need this white space, but this is, I mean, I could get, I guess I could even get rid of that one there. Get rid of that one. I could get rid of that one. And save that. Run it. There we go. Bye bye has now been produced. So this is the bare minimum, you know, the code that we have. This is the bare minimum number of white spaces required. So we need a new line and we need a white space there. That's literally all we need. And that is because these curly braces indicate where this function starts and ends. This semicolon indicates that this is the end of this particular statement. These parentheses here indicate the start and end of this particular printf method and the set out oh, yet yeah, we also need obviously this empty line sorry this line here because otherwise you'll try and treat that as one single you know keyword even though it isn't so that's very important to know that white space you know isn't as required as you might see because obviously this looks better you know, it's a lot more pleasing on the eye. It's a lot easier to, to go through. Because imagine if we had a file which was 500 lines of code and it was all virtually on one single line or on two or three lines. Would not look very good. And it would be hard to, you know, debug it. It would be hard to understand what is actually happening. So white space, not only does it indicate to the compiler in instances like this, it also helps you, you know, understand the code better and let me give you another example if i create a variable called int i the bare minimum number of white spaces required on this particular just single line is this so if i do that it tries to treat this as one keyword which it is not so we need this as a bare minimum on this line for example let's say if i did i equals five plus nine semicolon that's fine. Technically, we don't need any of these. So if I was to save it, run it, we st obviously, we're not doing anything with I, but in terms of it running, it runs fine. Why? Because 
the equals and the plus are essentially separating you know these constants or you know variables like i that we've you know created that's what actually separates them apart whereas in here there was nothing in between int and i to separate it hence why the white space was required here here it wasn't you still would put it in there generally speaking because it's again a lot more pleasing on the eye because when you're writing in real life you generally don't put all the words or all you know your mathematical calculation bunched up together so that's white spaces if you have any questions feel free to message us on the discord group just join that up first there's over 3700 members and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video